In classical machine learning, a computing element, usually with high computational and memory resources, receives information data from multiple devices. With this information, this central element trains a learning model. When the model is trained and ready to be used, any device sends this query to the central element and, after some calculations, the device receives the answer. Let's see how it works with a toy example. Imagine our algorithm is going to be trained to, given an image of an animal, identify which kind of animal it is. Cat, dog, horse. With this aim, it receives pictures from mobile phones sent by multiple users around the world. Each image has also a tag or label with the kind of animal, the picture of a cat and the word cat, for instance. These pictures are gathered and stored in our central element to train the algorithm. Once the algorithm has been trained, the training phase is finished, the central element is ready to receive requests, ready for the production phase. When it receives a new image without the label, it is able to identify the kind of animal is there, panda bear, for instance. In federated learning, the philosophy is radically different. The training is not centralized. Instead, the idea is that multiple devices actively cooperate to train the model. Using the same example, now the algorithm is locally trained at each mobile phone, using only the data, photos, stored in the same device. Instead of sharing the photos, each mobile phone periodically sends the information of the algorithm, what we call the local model, to the central element. The central element receives this information, all the local models, from all the devices and composes a global model that combines the knowledge from all of them. This global model, built with the knowledge gathered from all the devices, is then sent back to each mobile phone to be used instead of the local one. After this training phase, when a device wants to know which kind of animal is shown in a local picture, it only needs to query the local algorithm to obtain the answer. Consequently, the algorithm was trained with global knowledge, but it's run locally. Federated learning has great advantages over classical centralized learning. First, enhance user data privacy protection. Since data is not shared with the other elements in the federated learning network, it means that, a priori, privacy is better preserved than in a classical scheme. Second, better response time. Since each query is locally executed, the answer response time is lower. We are saving time in sending the query and waiting to receive the answer. This is really important when the response time is critical for the system. Third, greater scalability capacity. For really complex problems, the cooperation among a high number of devices allows good results without a huge central computational element. Fourth, improve data diversity. Centralized data may not accurately represent the full range of data. But when the model is trained with data from a variety of resources and exposed to a wider range of data, this can improve the performance of the global model and reduce bias. One step further is decentralized federated learning, where the central computation element is not needed. In this decentralized federated learning scheme, the devices in the federated learning network share their local model with their neighbors. So they are also in charge of combining the different local models into a new one. In this case, not all the computation devices are working with the same global model. Instead, each one has its own global model, which is the result of the information received. There are good advantages, like more flexibility and more scalability. However, we have also main challenges in decentralized federated learning. Regarding privacy, also, decentralized federated learning improves privacy since the data is not shared. There are still some risks. For instance, elements within the decentralized federated learning network may be semi-honest or malicious, 
and try to interfere and infer private knowledge from the artificial intelligence model that are exchanged. Other challenges regarding communication overheads, the exchange of local artificial intelligence models may increase the traffic in the networks. So it is very important to optimize the communications. This means reducing the exchange of models only when it is worthwhile. That means when the other elements in the decentralized federated learning network can take advantage of the new knowledge. In fact, in this project, Truffles, we are working to deal with these challenges, improve privacy and security, and reduce the communication overheads in federated learning settings.